Greetings, viewers. Thanks for joining me out in the shop today. You can see I put the red TRD emblem on the grill. That is not an OG Toyota emblem. That's a fake aftermarket emblem. And it is slightly smaller than the factory one. I looked it up. It's like a quarter inch in each direction. Smaller. But that's neither here nor there. I really like it. And yeah, I'm happy I did that. Moving on to the back here, I got the wheels off. I got the jack stands under the axle. I'm going to put these airbags on today. Uh, they're going to be for helping when I tow. And I'm going to put the cups on that are good for if you go off-road. Now, I'm not going to show all this. Just hit the high points. It's literally three diagrams and one page of instructions. It's just bolt on and routing your lines. I'll hit the high points as I go and I'll explain what these cradles are for because instead of bolting your bag to the plate on the spring, you put these in and then when you're off-roading and your bag lifts out off your spring, it can lift up and then go ah, back down, <laughs> back down into it. So anyway, uh, that way I can use them for towing. It'll be good. These are the Firestone Double Convoluted. This is a Daystar product here, these cups. But if you stretch them too far when they're on, it's bad for them. It even says try not to lift your vehicle by the frame in the instructions. So that's what they make these cups for. So I'm going to install both, hit the high points as I go around, and yeah, that I didn't hit any high points on the install. It was drill the two holes and hook it up. Really pleased. I did see one on eBay that claimed to be an OG Toyota Ivan Stewart Edition grill badge. It was currently at $137. I paid $12.98 on eBay for that one. So pretty good deal there. Going to get started on this. Move a little snow out of the way. Got a little snow. Really happy. Had to go drive in it. So I'm going to get started and I'll be back with the important parts. Okay. Install on the driver's side. Done. Same thing on the passenger side. Still have to route my airlines through. That's kind of a no-brainer. Just take them through the frame keep them away from exhaust or moving parts. I'll put mine in the back bumper. Some people put them in the fuel, behind the fuel door. I don't know, maybe I'll do that, but I think the back bumper is where I want to put them. But anyway, you have to drill these four bolt holes out right here. All right, better light. So those have to be drilled out. You do have some lines behind there. I just take my small step bit and go through the first part of the bit and then stick something through the hole, wallard around, check it with my finger on the other side, and make sure I'm not going to hit my lines. I had to scooch them just a little bit. Just be careful of that. The idea is to get this bracket flush with the bottom of this bracket and run this at the same angle here. All that's explained in the instructions. Pretty simple. Here you can see that cup. By the way, the nuts and bolts that came with the cup to bolt to the uh, Firestone Air Ride bracket are way too big. You have to put them in, grind them down. But you can see how this bag right now, it's just free floating because if I had my ex suspension extended, that would not still be in the cup. It'd be pulling it. And I'll let this down here. Oh, I probably can't video at the same time, but I'll try it. Let's see. You can see the bag go back into the cup as the suspension sets down. Now, it doesn't fit too far up in there, but it's, uh, oh, damn, hard to move around. That's what it is. It's cold out here. But anyway, this cup will allow me to use my airbags in an off-road situation. Now, they kind of look like they don't line up just right, but I put them in just like they said to put them in. Maybe if I scooted that back just a hair more, but I can't scoot that any further forward, it bolts onto the spring there. But anyway, I'm satisfied with that. I like the catcher. That's about all it takes if you can read and follow directions. 
and sort parts, you can put this together. So the little bag or little cuppy thing here, I'm pretty pleased with. If it uh, looks like it's rubbing on here, I'll modify it to move that cup forward some more. Maybe I'll see what I did on the other side. But the hardest part of this whole thing is drilling them holes. So let me see what else I have going on here. The more I look at that red emblem, the better I like it. Looks good with the, with the dark blue chuck. Anyway, I did get my locker. I got an Eaton True Track for the back. I'm still waiting on my bearing kit. Oops. This is a complete carrier type um, traction aid. It is a Torsen style limited slip. It's not a clutch type. The clutch type can fail and not work properly in certain situations, plus they take special fluid. Uh, I can try and explain the torsion type as it's got helical cut gears in. If one side is spinning equally opposite, like a going around a corner, it'll differentiate. But if one wheel spins more than the other wheel is not spinning, and then it'll kick the power over through those helical cut gears. So it will always send traction to the wheel with, or yeah, send, send power to the wheel with the most traction. So I've never tried one of these. I've had a Detroit locker in another, but it wasn't a true track. So as soon as my bearing kit gets here, that'll be an install and that'll be fun. So I'm gonna finish up my airbags right now. Let's see, oh, my uh, leveling kit. Now I wouldn't ordinarily do a leveling kit. I'd buy struts, but I've got new Bilstein struts on this already. So I am going to do a one inch pad in there to give me two inches of lift in the front and level my truck. And then I'll be able to use my airbags to keep squat down when I'm towing. So all that to say, loving the Tundra. Interesting new things coming up on the green third gen. Uh, go over that when the time comes. But anyway, I appreciate you tuning in today. Like and subscribe to my channel. Send comments. If you got comments, check all the links, stuff like that. If you feel so inclined, I appreciate you all. Have a great day.